Okay guys, so today's color is by Ramel London. These are Provocalypse, and I am wearing Little Minx, which is a very bright pink color. This is actually the product that kind of started this whole thing off. I had someone tip me off that this might be a lip sense alternative, and so I thought, well, if other companies are making long-lasting smudge-proof lip color, I wanna try it out. I have to admit that I had been using LipSense for a long time, um, long time being a couple weeks, um, stopped for about a week, grabbed one of these, and the first time I wore it, I saw a lot of flaking and I thought, these drugstore brands just aren't gonna work. But now that I've kind of reconditioned my lips and then started using them again, I have different thoughts about Ramel and Provocalypse. Um, I did not experience any flaking or issues this time. Um, I like this one, it is different. I was ready to put on three coats and it's just one coat. It is super thick. So one coat, rub your lips together. Um, this one took a couple minutes to dry. Like we're talking, I put this on before I went to church, was almost to church, which is maybe a five to ten minute drive for us. Um, this has a more traditional gloss brush with it. And when I put it on, you can see some of the pink smudged off. So only on the gloss though. So once I got it on, once it dried after, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, it's you no, know, going nowhere, not kissing off. Um, this stuff is great. And I know since I've already tried it, this one does last a long time, minus a little bit of flaking if you're getting your lips conditioned at first. So just a little bit different way of thinking, just one thick layer, let it dry. I know this one lasts a long time, it's a 16 hour formula. Um, here's my one downside I already know too. When I bought this one, I thought this was gonna be like a bright fuchsia pink and as you can see, it's a little more deep and darker. Um, the other downside is as of right now, there's only so many colors of this. Like I think they have eight. And so for bright, they have like a bright red and this and then everything else is very neutral, which is fine for some people, but I've really enjoyed having lots of different colors, lots of different places, but so far, second chance with Ramel, I'm really liking this stuff, and I really like how well this one stays on. This might be one of the best alternatives, and I'll be back tonight to tell you if I still feel that way. Okay guys, we're going on a true 16 hours Maybe 15, but coming up on 16 hours with the Provocalypse, the Ramel. Um, I am gonna zoom this in just a little bit more so you can see this. Okay, although there was like totally no smudging or anything all day, uh, we definitely have a lot of fading. So it was really great for about, I'd say eight hours. I'd feel pretty confident wearing this one like all day at work and then all evening, um, but I felt like after I did one touch up with gloss when it got dried out a little bit, um, I saw a little bit come off. Other than that, there was no flaking, no problem, but I don't think it's as long lasting as it says. I do think the pigment stayed. It, it faded in that it's just been rubbing off, but it didn't feel like it was getting weaker or anything as time went on. So still a big fan of the Provocalypse. This one is a very inexpensive one, one of the cheaper ones I've tried. So probably still worthwhile, but it did fade. So not as long lasting.